Good morning, it's Yvonne here to do your What's Cracking reading. Oh boy, it's so cold here this morning. I'll just put the heater on in here to warm the place up. Alright, what do I have to update you on? Um, 18th of June, we've got the platform event in Port Kembla if you live in the area. 20th of June, I'm at Merriweather in Newcastle if you're in the area. Um, I have a Facebook Live this Saturday at 9.30am Australian Eastern Standard Time. You have to be a, a, like my Facebook page to join us with that, but you're welcome on board. The other thing that um, I need to remind you of, I've got a live with Linda tonight on her channel. Um, if you're interested in that, I'll put it up on the... Uh, I know we, we have some people who've come to both of us. So I'll put it up on the uh, Facebook page for you later. I better make a note though. <laughs> All right, let's get going on your What's Cracking reading. We're going to use the Terror of the Golden Wheel here. Which I'm still sort of got a little bit of a crush on. <laughs> Between that one and the Terror of the Divine. But anyway bit fickle when it comes to cards. All right, let's see what we can do. No, they don't want that split. All right, let's just shuffle them up a bit more. It's good to see a lot of your names over on TikTok too. So I want to say thank you for that. I've hit, I think, 26, nearly 26,000 on TikTok, um, which has been a tremendous thing for me. And I just the challenge of it is really beautiful. So if you're interested and you're not on TikTok, I feel like sometimes when I say that to people, I should tell you how addictive it is. Um, <laughs> it's a bit of a time slippage when you're on there. But anyway, you can find me on there now. All right, let's see what's happening in the... What's cracking world? Oh, well, I like that. Three of Wands to start the day. The Three of Wands is a card that talks about waiting for your ships to come in. You've already done the manifestation here. It's already in process. Very, very straightforward card, the Three of Wands. It talks about waiting for the future to come to you. It talks about manifestation and waiting for things to come to fruition. But whatever is happening here, you are waiting for something that you've asked Spirit for to come to you. All right, so we have the Five of Wands. Wow, this waiting luck, it's a bit tough, isn't it? <laughs> um, there's a need for you here to not get stuck in your head questioning. Sometimes we go backwards and forwards and ask ourselves, you know, is something worth waiting for? Is something going to come towards us if we want it? You know, that we've put the intention out there that we like what we've, we've sort of asked for or we want to have some sort of result and then there's the waiting period but while we're waiting very often we get stuck in our heads thinking what if it doesn't happen what if this where what do we do next where do we go and sometimes then once you get stuck in your head that old energy of doubt kicks in what if it doesn't happen maybe i'm not good enough maybe i'm not tall enough maybe i'm not green enough for anything and you start to doubt that what you ask for is in fact coming your way. This is the Five of Wands energy. And the Five of Wands energy can be bickering with other people about that too. Um, but very often this is sort of being overthinking it, going backwards and forwards on decisions sometimes more so, perhaps a little bit more that energy. All right, so the universe is saying here it's time to take time out. It's time to rest, sit back, and be patient. Something is in process here. Something is being constructed here. You have to trust that it's happening. You have to trust and you have to have faith. And then you take time out from the world and you just sit back and wait. We've been hearing this a lot lately. There's an offer coming in here, um, possibly from a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, but whoever this is coming your way has an offer of love. I feel this is what you've asked for. I feel this is what you've been waiting for. I certainly feel that this is what you've been deliberating about, going backwards and forwards on something. But again, with this card, I would say to you, this is a time for meditation, relaxation, taking time out, 
chilling because somebody is on their way in here okay nine of wands coming through here golly someone's been through a battle here somebody's been through a battle to get to you that's why it's taking time for them okay the nine of wands is a card that talks of it's the wounded warrior card it's the card of doing something over and over again and not achieving a different result like pushing trying the seven of wands is like fighting it's stubbornness it's standing up for something it's fighting against something here somebody has been making their way towards you and you're wondering why it's taking them so long and they've had some sort of huge battle here to get through something to come your way. So if you're sitting waiting, wondering where this person is, they've been weathering all kinds of storms here. They are beaten up, they are bruised, they, uh, they've had a hard time trying to get where they were. So whoever this person is, we've got the judgment card. So a lot of the readings at the moment are talking about the same thing and I feel sometimes it would be nice to get away from it a little bit but we have the judgment card here which talks about things being brought up from the, from the ground. Rebirth, bringing the phoenix back from the dead. There is something here that is being rebirthed. This person coming towards you must have had some sort of past energy or crossed energy with you. Now, if this is someone returning that you've been waiting for, praying for, trying to manifest, then so be it. If it isn't, then you've got somebody here who's already making their way towards you. You may not even know this person, but this person wants an opportunity with you. They have rebirthed themselves from the, the earth, which means that hard time they've been battling to get through, most likely was very, very difficult for them. So there's something happening here. All right, five of cups coming through here and the hanged man. All right. The five of cups is a card of going back, focusing on the past. It's in not letting go of something, hanging on to something. It could be hanging on to a person, but in my experience, it very often is hanging on to old ideas, um, old ways of doing things, old fashioned things, old ways of thinking, limited beliefs, all of those sort of things. And I feel like whoever's coming towards you here has had either a change of heart, a change of a way of seeing things, or is now believing in a different way of doing things. This is a person who is ready to move in a new direction and try something different or something new. This person has had some sort of either an awakening or they, they've been maybe even doing work on themselves that's helped them to see things differently. This is a person who's let go of all that past baggage, finished out that nine of wands energy. But let's see. Okie dokie. We have the page of cups coming through. I like the page of cups. It's a very light. Um, I want to say frivolous energy. It's really light energy. This is someone getting in contact with you here. This is someone getting in contact with you who has something to share, but it's only a message. So it could be a text from someone. It could be some sort of somebody just sort of, I feel like just sort of putting the line in the water just to see whether they get a bite. This is a person who's definitely interested in you romantically but they're not putting it out there. They're just testing the waters here. All righty. The justice card coming through. Wow, with the Hierophant, we have a lot of major arcanas in this reading this morning, Six of Cups. I feel like for many of you, this person is a returned person. They don't mean that they necessarily have had a relationship with you. Oh, excuse me. Um, it's not necessarily saying they've had a relationship with you, but I feel like for many of you here, you actually know this person. You may know of this person. You may not have had a relationship with them. I feel like this person is trying to change things around. So they may have had 
either they could be somebody who secretly admired you or somebody who has been keeping an eye on you for a while here I feel like this person is very serious though with the Hierophant here for some of you, you could work with this person there's a strong feeling of work coming up here you may have a very strong work connection here but the Six of Cups tells me it's definitely some sort of soulmate and some sort of past life, past energy coming through. I feel like with the Justice and the Hierophant though, that there is this energy of wanting something very serious here. I know a lot of people don't really um, sort of go on the whole marriage thing, but I feel that this person is very determined to have some sort of commitment with you here. Strong commitment energy. All right, so we have the Ace of Wands, beautiful. Oh, with the Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. See, I knew that there was a work connection for some of you. Definitely with the Eight of Pentacles. For some of you too, I feel like this person wants to work on something now. So you may have known this person in the past. You may have had some sort of connection with them. Because I feel like here, especially with the Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, there's an energy of I now want to work on something. I want to make, this is very strong commitment energy here with the Justice Hierophant and the Ace of Pentacles. That's very, very strong commitment. Ace of Wands tells me that this person is very passionate about what they're doing. They want to create here. They are feeling very creative. Um, but the, with this Eight of Pentacles, I'm feeling very strongly that for some of you, this person may have not wanted to work on things in the past here. They may have, they may have been, you may have been in some sort of connection with this person but I don't think they wanted something full time or a commitment. But here with this Eight of Pentacles and this Six of Cups, there's a strong feeling that this person wants commitment now. They want to work on it. This is very strong commitment energy. All right, look, and we have the sun coming through. Wow, okay, with the Knight of Wands. All right, and the Devil card. We'll check out the Devil card here. Some of you could be dealing with a, uh, we've got Libra, uh, Taurus, and Capricorn energy coming through with Leo here as well. Okay, the Knight of Wands and the Devil energy is not the best energy for me, but then I see the Sun card here, and I think with all the Aces and the, and the, um, and the major arcanas, I'm just looking at these two cards, feeling that this person is very, I want to say actually quite obsessed. Now they've made their mind up. So it's like now something's been cleared for this person, they are really determined here. This is a lot of passion in these two cards, a lot of lust, a lot of physical energy. So I feel like this person wants to really... Um, <laughs> get down and dirty I want to say <laughs> this person has a very very strong physical draw all right let's get some more cards here all right we'll go through the reading all right so we've got you waiting for something here I feel that you've been questioning perhaps going backwards and forwards on something here the universe is telling you it's time to just sit back chill relax Somebody is on their way here. Somebody who's been through some sort of journey. I feel like this person's gone through the meal here with these two cards, trying to work out what they want. There's some sort of rebirth here, revisit, uh, something going on here. I feel like this person has some sort of past connection. Um, but there feels to me like an energy of somebody who's perhaps, wow, we have the Page of Swords here. This person's been keeping a very close eye on you. They saw you right from the beginning. This is something they've seen. This is something they've they've realized here. They've realized it and they've been keeping an eye on you here. This person's not about to let you get snaffled up by someone else here. This is a person who has seen things from a completely different perspective and I feel that they've had some sort of realization of your value here. They've realized a connection. All right. All 
All right, so we just want to work out why the devil... Oh, look at this. <laughs> Holy dooly, you've got three aces in this reading. What's missing? We've got the Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. We've got the Ace of Swords missing. But we have the Ace of Swords actually in the Justice card. So there's a lot of new beginnings here. Something is about to hit home big time. All right, let's have a look. So I have the Ace of Cups here. I just want to have a sneak peek on what's going on. All right, could be dealing with a Leo Sag or Aries. Somebody maybe have left behind a third party or a, another relationship. Somebody who's done, again, look at this energy. Someone who's made great changes in their life here. They've completed something. They've completed something with the death card. All right, the devil is clarified by the three of swords, the four of pentacles and the four of wands. This person is, they want to make this work. I feel like this is why I'm getting a strong feeling with the Eight of Pentacles. This person wants to put work in now. I feel like before they didn't want to put work in. There may have been someone else involved again here because I do have three swords. So there's a little bit of a feeling that something else was coming between the two of you. Maybe another person. But some sort of interference here. Um... The Four of Pentacles tells me that something's been let go. Okay, so I feel this person's feeling very passionate, very driven here because they've now let go of something. I feel that this energy was maybe holding them back from having what they wanted here with the Four of Wands. This is really... Um, this person has been hanging on to something, trying to make something work here, but realising that no matter what energy they put in, there was still this issue or problem preventing them from making this work. I feel like there's been some sort of intervention from the universe here because this person has let go of this now to be able to rebuild. So it just sort of confirms the rest of the story here. All right, let's pull an oracle card and see if we can get some additional information. This is beautiful. This is happy ending stuff here. This has all got marriage, long-term commitment written all over it here. Okay, we have deep knowing coming through. So if some of you knew that this person would return, I think that you just questioned. You questioned this a lot though. 43... This is about intuition, listening to the oracle within, empathy and hypersensitivity. Intuition is the faculty that allows you to enter into a dialogue with source, the consciousness that you are a part of but cannot see with the naked eye. It's perplexing that people are taught to ignore this natural capacity to navigate their journeys to access their inner guidance. Know that you have an ability to read between the lines and find the truth that was missing when the story was told. This deep knowing allows you to open the door to wisdom far greater than what is available in the limitations of human experience. You're given information that may not make no sense whatsoever to the logical mind or five senses, but which is 100% correct and true. The trick is to listen and then to act accordingly. You're now invited into this sacred dialogue of deep knowing, so tune in and trust your vibes. They will be right. Ask and you will receive answers from unusual sources. So maybe if you were already thinking that something was happening here, maybe it sat with you, but you perhaps didn't, your ego didn't allow you to believe that something could happen. I feel like here it's all moving forward. I'll leave you with that. Thank you.